Good morning. Happy Saturday. Now here's a hat you probably haven't seen before. <laughs> My sister got me this hat and it's got the flap. <laughs> it comes down over the ears and it's got the little poofy poofy on top. I love this hat. I tell you, I love hats. Like, I mean, like these, you know, it's cold. It's 31, but it feels like 21 and it's kind of windy. So, so yeah, all this feels really good today. Okay, we're gonna talk about my sink in a minute, but first I have to go do my mom duty. Duty. Okay, hi. So, I made a couple of videos this morning about the fence, uh, the fence. I'm looking at a fence, good night. About the sink that I'm gonna insert in here because I think you might get some enjoyment out of it, perhaps. <laughs> all right y'all good morning happy saturday i got up this morning and i was so excited to see that sink empty i tell you what's the truth i was just dancing and praising jesus this morning well i can't pick this thing up it's so daggum heavy it's a kettle of water yeah don't spell it tracy well anyway i was so excited that the sink was empty because last night i did the baking soda and the uh, vinegar and then i poured the hot water in it well i turned on the water and oh, i turned on the water hold on just a sec that thing is so heavy you know i got the weak hands because i done had surgery on both hands now let me close that closet door so you can't really look in my closet you know what i'm saying well anyway focus tracy i put the baking soda and i put the vinegar and i waited and then i poured the hot water in it and i just left it well this morning like i said it's empty except there it left a bunch of sludgy looking stuff in my sink and i was so excited i turned on the water and no it's just sitting right there in the drain it emptied out of the bowl but it's still sitting right there in the drain so I done took the Dawn dish soap and I squeezed it. I squeezed it in that hole right there. And I waited 10 minutes. Now I'm about to pour the hot water in it. And we'll see if that works. I'm trying everything I can because Lord knows I don't want to spend my hard earned money on the plumber. You know what I'm saying? But we're pouring a whole bunch of water. Ooh, did that crack my sink? Did y'all hear that pop? They said boiling water, and I even Googled it and made sure that's what it said. Well, anyway, it's just sitting there. It's got the Dawn dish soap sitting right there. I mean, it's going down, but it's real slow. So maybe this Dawn will get down in there and break up. If there's, I don't know if there's grease in there. Well, I don't know why there'd be grease in my bathroom sink, but I guess it can happen. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, it didn't move very far last night at all. I mean, it did. Cause like I said, the sink was empty this morning, but it was just still sitting in that pipe. But if this don't work, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait till all this water kind of drains and that cool water, you know, that hot water is no longer hot water. And then I'm gonna get down under there and I'm gonna take that pea trap back off. And then, you know, it comes down like that into that pea trap. Well, the pea trap was clean and it comes back up like this and then it goes into the wall. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that pea trap off and then I'm gonna take one of them fancy devices that I ordered on the Amazon and I'm gonna stick it up in that little gooseneck thing right there, right there, right there, and try to go into that wall back there and see if I can grab anything with the little grabber thingy thing. Yeah, cause I don't wanna waste my hard earned money on a plumber if I don't have to. Only because I have to save to pay my taxes. You know, the man, the man wants his money and I owe every year, every year since I retired, I have to pay taxes. Ain't that the, we won't talk about that cause it gets me very upset and y'all don't wanna see me very upset. Well, I'm still in my jammies, my jammies, which don't amount to much. It's a t-shirt, a, a big old men's 2X t-shirt that I bought for my dad and decided to keep for myself, but don't tell him. And some pajama pants, that's all I, yeah. Yeah, this is just sitting, so. 
Okay, well, hopefully it'll do its magic, but so far there's no magic happening in that sink. It's just sitting there looking all pretty back at me. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, I'll come back and update later, okay? Okay, guys, we might have Dawn dish soap for the win. When I left in here, it was about that full of hot water and soap, and now it's down about that far, which is the fastest it's been moving in a long time. So we might have a wiener wiener chicken dinner with the Dawn dish soap and the boiling hot water. So y'all remember that, okay? I'm just gonna let this keep going and see if it'll go on down, and then I might do it one more time. That's two, Tracy. I might do it one more time just for good measure, you know, but it's moving. Praise be to Jesus, it's moving. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Okay, here we are. Now it's afternoon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> My dad came by and tried his hand at plumbing. <laughs> I mean, not plumbing, but what, plunging is what I meant to say. He used his mini plunger, but then we discovered that his mini plunger was cracked like a plumber's. Anyway, <laughs> so then he used my big plunger and it didn't do anything except fill up my sink. <laughs> So then I talked to Joan. I've had so much advice. And Joan said, go to Ace Hardware and get this stuff. That her sink was doing the same thing. And she went and got this stuff. It's called, I forgot what it's called. Anyway. And you pour a cup full in the drain and you wait an hour. And then you pour hot water in the drain after an hour. And I think after that you plunge. I'm not sure, I gotta read the directions again to make sure that I do it correctly. But I will say, now the crack in my sink is all the way across. It's not just in one place like it was earlier. Could you drive any faster, sir? Goodness gracious. I mean, we're just here out here walking and he's flying by. So anyway, that's what I did. I went to Ace Hardware and I got the stuff and I poured it in the hole. And I'm praying to Jesus up above that it clears out the clog. Because I don't want to call a plumber. I don't want to see his crack anytime soon. It, like I said, it worked this morning. And then I tried it again. And when I tried it again, it didn't work. Uh-oh, these dogs are out. I'll be back. Okay, that's the dogs up the street that one of them can jump the fence. And it's a big old white dog. I don't know. It scares me. So I put my phone down so I could take out my pepper spray and be ready. But today, he didn't act like he wanted to jump the fence. So I was like, well... Okay, so be it then. I guess he knew that I had my pepper spray and I wasn't playing. I think he knew it, mm -hmm. yeah. But then we walk on down the road and this guy has a German Shepherd. It's a really old German Shepherd. And for whatever reason, he lets it out front instead of in his fenced out, fenced out. Jeez, old Pete, Tracy. Fenced in backyard. He lets it lay out front. Well, I mean, that's all well and good, except when we walk by, he gets up and slowly starts making his way to the road. He or she, I don't know. I've never asked him his, how he identifies, you know, how he or she identifies, how they identify, I don't know. There's squirrels everywhere. Um, they're all on a mission today, probably packing up for cold weather. I'd be packing up and moving to Florida if I was them, but anyway. So as we walk by, they, the German Shepherd, starts walking towards us as Penny is growling and kicking her feet like she's going to go after a German Shepherd. And the guy steps out and tells the German Shepherd no. 
Why can't you just let him out in your fenced-in backyard? I don't understand. Why does he have to come out front? I mean, it's fine because he hasn't bothered us, but he does always get up and walk towards us. And if ever <laughs> that man doesn't step out and say, stop, then it might be a problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know that dog. He don't know us. He don't know my pen pen. He don't know my pen pen's ready to go whenever, whenever. Just that's the end of that sentence, whenever. So, anyway, that was more exciting talk than my think. But that's all that's going on in my life right now is my think. <laughs> Joan texted me. She said, you okay? I was like, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Except my think. <laughs> and that's when she told me to go. It's called instant something. Instant flow or instant drain or instant something. And she said it's poison and you have to wear glasses and you have to wear gloves and you know all the things and you have to drain all the water out of the sink so I got back under there and uh, unloosened the p-trap and let all the water back out and then tightened all that back up and ran some water just to make sure that that wasn't leaking because I don't want my whole cup full of that stuff to go in my bucket that's under the pea trap you know and it didn't leak link it didn't leak and uh yeah so at five o'clock i have to pour more hot water in the drain that sink is just gonna absolutely crack in half by the time it's all over with <laughs> it's like i'm done i'm done with this i am done with you i'm just cracking up <laughs> It's not always cracked up to be, you know. Speaking of plumbers, <laughs> how many crack jokes can I make? Well, I mean, if your plumber is on crack, that's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I guess I'm done because I'm, you know, acting silly and, and my pants are falling down. So I can't wear my leggings when it's this cold because it's basically like wearing nothing. So I am wearing my jeans, which is fine because they're a lot warmer than my leggings, except they won't stay up. I didn't put on my belt. So yeah, it's fine. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna go now because again, I'm rambling. So PTFM. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look, no, don't bite me. I want you to show me love like you were doing a minute ago because I don't think they realize that you can be sweet, okay? Can you give me a kiss? Hey, give me a kiss. We had a moment of love. Mm-hmm, yeah. There, yeah, she's a good girl. Okay, don't lick my eyeball. That's not what I want you to lick either. Such a weird little cat, you know? My mom's cat attacked her right in the face. And that was after a multitude of other attacks, like literal attacks. That cat actually, let's put you right here. That cat actually uh, slapped her hand so hard and she had her front claws that it hooked onto a vein and pulled the vein up out of her hand please stand by anyway she popped that uh, vein out of my mom's hand and I was at mom's house and I heard her call me <sighs> I mean she was like help and I was like was that you calling me and I went up there she was in the kitchen and blood was spurting every time her heart beat her yeah spurting out of her hand and she was pretty much in shock because she didn't handle blood well anyway so i went over and i clamped down on the top of her hand and just stood there talking to her for you know a few minutes while i held that so it would clot and then we rinsed it real good and we you know did all the stuff and i mean she was fine but 
Then, uh, there were several other things. Not like Gracie bite, bites me, because Gracie doesn't bite down. I mean, she just went after my hand. She doesn't bite down. Now, does it feel good? No, because those teeth are sharp. But she doesn't break the skin. So, anyway, that uh, time that the cat went after my mom's face was the last time. And Mama said, uh, take that cat to be put down because I'm getting to where I'm afraid of her. And I said, cool, let's go. So I took her to the vet and I said, you know, she has attacked mom several times. I said, but this time she went after her face. And I said, my mom's like really scared of her now because of how mean she is. And he said, when a cat goes after your face Some... are you happy are you happy to be in mommy's lap were you jealous because gracie was giving me attention anyway he said when a cat goes after your face something has happened in their brain their chemistry and are you gonna lick me in the face too and you smell where she licked me? Yeah, you cover that up. <laughs> yeah, and they're dangerous. And anytime a cat goes after your face is what I'm trying to say. I'm very distracted, as you can see. It's bad. And they need to be put down because, yeah, something has flipped in their brain. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. I just wanted to show y'all the sweet moment with my girl because she can be very sweet. And also... Penny and I slept through the night. Neither one of us woke up, and it was wonderful. And she's a very good girl, and now she's given my arm a bath. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> yeah, we're just all getting baths today. Anything you would like to say to them, Penelope? Yes, Mommy, I would like to say, I love you. Jesus loves you. And I hope he's coming back soon, cause people be crazy. Yes, that's right. People be crazy. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We're just cuddling in here. Yeah. So, I will talk to y'all later, okay? All right. Love you, mean it.